Hello, welcome once again to Ace of for Online Math Class. In this video, we are going to discuss the application of differentiation, which is uh, rectilinear motion. Okay, just motion in a straight line. That is what we mean by rectilinear motion. Um, this is more of uh, physics, anyway. So a good knowledge of physics is required for proper understanding of this, though it is differentiation. Um, the question we have here is telling us that the motion of a particle along a straight line is specified as um, x equals 4t to the power of 4 minus 3t to the power of 3. We are asked to find the velocity after 3 seconds. By definition, velocity is the rate of change of displacement with time. The rate at which displacement changes with time. And this x here is having as the displacement, yt is the time. So to get the velocity, I need to get the x over dt because the x dt will give me the displacement, the velocity. So the x all over dt will give me 4 is here, 4 will come to the back, t, 4 minus 1, minus 3 is here, 3 will come to the back, t, 3 minus 1. So my dx over dt, which is the same thing as the velocity I'm looking for, will be 4 times 4 is 16, t to the power of 3, minus 3 times 3 is 9, t to the power of 2. This is just the velocity. But they say that after 3 seconds, and t serves as the time, so after 3 seconds, we shall have that our v will now be 16 bracket 3 to the power of 3. I'm just substituting the value of t as 3 in this particular function minus 9 bracket 3 power of uh, 2. So V will give me 16 times 3 power of 3 is 27 minus 9 times 3 power of 2 is uh, 9. So, so we have to simplify this and this, then subtract. So V will give me 16 times uh, 16 times 27 will give me 16 by 27 will give me 432, 432, minus 9 times 9 is uh, 81. So when I take this subtraction, I have minus 81. I shall have it as 351. 351, um, you can say meter per second if it is given in meter. But, okay, so let's take a second question. The motion of a particle starting from O is described by the equation x equals t cubed over 3 minus 7 over 2 t squared plus 10 t. How far is the particle from O when the particle is momentarily at a rest? Okay, so this is just the, the displacement and this is the time. And uh, if you want for a body to be at rest, it means that the initial velocity is zero. Okay, since it's starting as O. So the initial velocity here is zero. Therefore, we need to get velocity and, so, and make the velocity to be equal to zero. Solve for T to get our T then plug back in the original equation to get how far because how far talks about distance so the idea here is to differentiate this to get velocity make that velocity to be equal to zero since they said it has to rest if when it's equal to zero we will get a quadratic equation which we are going to solve to get the value of our time then we now plug back the time in the original function that gives us the required uh, distance okay here so i have that my velocity is equal to the x all over the t which will give me 3 coming to the back t over 3 then 3 minus 1 because 3 will come to the back minus 7 over 2 the 2 will come to the back multiplying 2 coming t 2 minus 1 plus whenever i differentiate this without the power i will get just 10 okay now this 3 will cancel this 3 which i have our velocity as a uh, t power of 2 because 3 minus 1 is 2 2 we cancel 2 we have minus 7 t because 2 minus 1 is 1 and 1 is nothing plus uh, 10 but since it's starting from rest our v is equal to 0 therefore t squared minus 7 t plus 10 is equal to 0 so we shall solve this quadratic equation we think of two numbers which are times to get 10 when we add we get minus 7 and the number should be, uh, let's say, minus 5t and uh, minus 2t. Because this time, this will give us this. And this plus this will give us this. So we just have t minus 5 into t minus 2 equals 0. 
it's because the two numbers are minus 5 and minus 2. So this shortcut will help us to get it once and for all. So either solving for this, either this is 0 or this is 0. So either t is equal to 5 or t is equal to 2. Remember, it is seconds. Seconds. Okay, so it is either that my t is 5 seconds or my t is uh, 2 seconds. Now, I've got my time. The time is not the answer. What I need is the distance. And distance x, or displacement, equals uh, t cubed all over 3 minus 7 over 2 t squared plus 10 t. That is the original function. So when t is equal to 5, my displacement x will be 5 power of 3 all over 3 minus 7 over 2 into 5 power of 2 plus 10 bracket 5. Here, 5 power of 3 will give me 125 over 3 minus uh, 5 squared is 25. So I have it as uh, uh, 25 is here. We we'll multiply 7. So 25 times 7 will give us 175. 175 all over 2, then plus 50. Without wasting time, let us divide. 125 divided by 3, 125 divided by 3, will give me uh, 41.67 minus uh, 175 divided by 2 will give me 87.5, then plus 50. So my x will be, I'll add up, 41.67 minus 87.5 plus 50, I'll have 4. 0.17 meters. This is just the distance when t is 5. So it could be this or another thing altogether. So let us solve when t is uh, 2 seconds. So when t equals 2 seconds, I have to have that x will now be seeing t, I'll put uh, 2 power of 3 over 3 minus 7 over 2 into 2 power of 2 plus 10 into 2. So x will give me 2 power of 3 is 8 all over 3 minus 7 times 2 is okay. 2 squared is 4. 7 times 4 is uh, 28. 28 divided by 2 is 14. Then plus 10 times 2 is uh, 20. So x will give me 8 over 3 Minus 14 plus 20 will just give me 6. Okay, so adding together, this is over 1. LCM is 3. This divide this is 1. 1 times 8 is 8. Plus this divide this is 3. 3 times this is uh, 18. So my x is something as 26 all over 3. Okay, 26 over 3 uh, meters. You can change to, uh, let's say, mixed fraction. 3 divided 26 is just like uh, uh, 8 whole number, remaining 2 all over 3 meters. That's just the answer, or 8.67 meters. Anyone can serve. So that's just how we can apply differentiation in uh, uh, getting uh, mo uh, and in solving rectilinear motion. So if you've enjoyed what you've watched, kindly subscribe to my channel to be notified when I upload a new content. Thank you.